Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Jenick. I hope you are well and you had a beautiful Mother's Day and treated your mother extra special and sang that song. Mommy, Mommy, I love you. Yes, I, yes, I, yes, I do. I'm so glad that you're mine. I will love you all the time. Mommy, Mommy, I love you. Yes, I, yes, I, yes, I do. Anyways, you can sing that to her every day. Mommy's day should be every day because mommies are awesome. Let's begin with our morning thanks prayer. Morning thanks. Thank you, God, for this new day. Help us as we work and play fill our hearts with love from you help us love each other to teach us to be kind and share show our friends and family that we care amen in the name of the father and of the son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, as you can see, I have the calendar behind me. I am going to get up, and I know my my head's not in it all the way, so I'm going to see if I can just bend down a little bit and grab my pointing stick, and let's take a look at this calendar. Why do we need this calendar? Well, boys and girls, it keeps track of time and gives us information. We're gonna have a Google Meet on Wednesday, May. Oh, I'll have to figure it out. You'll have to figure it out. What will Wednesday be if Sunday was the 10th? Hmm, hmm, hmm. What would that be? Well, boys and girls, this calendar does keep track of time and we've noticed that we've been at home. But time begins with those little seconds on the clock and they turn into minutes and minutes turn into hours and hours turn into days. And we all know how many days are in a week. How many days are there in a week? There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday. Help me out. Is it Sunday? Is it Monday? It's a Monday. May. What number? Help me count. Please help me. Where do we start? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, what comes after 10? Is it 11? Is it 12? You know it. It's 11. Two ones together make an 11, a two digit number. That means there's two numbers put together and it makes a brand new number, 11. So today is Monday, May 11th. Here's my date sentence today is Monday. And there's one of my little hairs. May 11th, 2020. So boys and girls, we are going to have a Google Meet on Wednesday and it will be the 13th already. And then we have some more information here. We have Victoria Day, so next weekend, we're gonna have a long weekend, and hopefully the weather will get nicer and warmer, and we'll be able to spend more time outside and in our pools. And then we also have Alex's fifth birthday. Oh, he must be excited. Alex, let's see. How many more days until your birthday? Let's count to find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
seven more days to wait. And then when you wake up, it's going to be your birthday all day. Thank that's exciting. I'm excited for you. So let's count backwards from 11. This is a good thing. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hip, hip, hooray. Boys and girls, I'm going to come back on and I'm going to talk about how May is an important month as you just celebrated mom and Mother's Day. Mother's Day should be all every day, right? We should always say thank you and show our gratitude to our moms and say thanks mom at the end of the day for helping me with whatever she helped you with. But not only do we have our mothers, we have the mothers of all mothers that we are going to discuss today. And it's going to be Mary, Jesus's mother. And oftentimes, boys and girls, when I'm sad or I need help, I pray to Mother Mary and I say a very special prayer. And last year, the boys and girls in our classroom said, a decade of the rosary every day to celebrate this special woman. She's the mom of all mothers and we can always know that she is there for us and that she will listen when we pray to her. So I'm going to come back on and share some um, of the rosary with you and maybe you can say the Hail Mary with me as well. I'll talk to you soon. I miss you all. Be good. Bye.